Hi, I'm Dan Perry, and I'm here with Trailers from Hell, where I'll be talking about Raging Bull. Uh, having designed the titles for the film, I have some unique uh, stories about the making of the film and the titles, because particularly it was shot in black and white, and there were unique problems as a result of that. The Bronx Bull, the Raging Bull. Let's hear for the great Jake LaMotta, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the, here in the trailer, uh, of course, uh, all the images are black and white. The film was shot in black and white. Though, if a film was shot today in black and white, it'd be produced in color, on color stock and so on. Having designed the titles for the film, I had some unique problems from the start. Uh, when I first viewed the film and met, met with Martin Scorsese about doing the titles, I suggested that the titles be in color, the Raging Bulls particularly. And he said, well, you just saw the film and it's in black and white, how can we do that? And I said, well, leave it to me. So I took the black and white negative and I converted it to onto color stock and then shot the background and duplicated the, the pure black and white that it was. Then I superimposed the red title over it. And when I first met with him about my idea, I thought and said that this guy is not a raging bull. He's a raging bull. And to illustrate that, I took the space out from between the words raging and bull to bring tension and muscle to it. When we came to integrating the title sequence with the rest of the film, it was now on color stock. And so they were the, the 75 prints that were made in the original release, every one of them was what's called positive edited. The color title sequence was hot spliced to the first frame of the black and white film that followed. And when it ran through the gate during projection, uh, a problem occurred because the color stock was thicker than the black and white stock. And every time that splice hit the gate, it would throw it out of frame. So we had to do a special title that was cut onto the head of the reel, ahead of the leader, in fact, that was advising the projectionist to ride the gate, as it was called. So that was a problem that uh, had to be solved because of my design and wanting to have a red title on the picture instead of black and white. Um, uh, um, oh, good. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like those podcasts where they just sort of, they're in the middle of a conversation. Way to go, Mr. Morrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a podcast. Goodbye. <laughs>